basically it's a, I mean, our, our sort of uh, pitch is that we're, we're building a, a sustainable promotional tool for local merchants. Um, so the, the idea is basically, you know, uh, merchants, you know, let's take a restaurant now. When he's, uh, when he's trying to get customers, his, his options now are, uh, you know, print advertising, uh, electronic advertising, or, uh, or the new group buying model, you know, like Groupon and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But they, they only, you know, group buying is the closest you can get to monitoring your return on, on marketing investment yeah. because you can get them through your door. But getting the customer through the door is not the end goal. You want them to come back. Um, and that's what group buying doesn't really address. So we had a look at uh, uh, all the different models out there. And we use group buying basically as a catalyst to get people into the premises. Yeah. And then we use a 12-month exposure program on our site. So we don't feature the merchants just for one day, but for 12 months. Yeah. Uh, and then you as a user, you get rewards for coming back to the restaurant. Yeah. It's yeah, okay. it's, it's, brilliant. It's, it's, it's very nice and something that's very interesting to me because a very close friend of mine is actually doing more or less the same in Bulgaria. He's, okay. he's running a, a service called Re, Reloyalty, which is exactly this idea that uh, you, from, from, the, from the business point of view, if you're a restaurant or if you're a launch or some, something that needs customers that yeah. are returning once, uh, from their point of view, they have some kind of very close analysis of this uh, dynamics yeah. that the customers generate. If you're a customer, on the other side, you have benefits from taking advantage of this loyalty program or something like yeah, that. Yeah, correct. So, uh, and I'll it also builds loyalty to... for us, but I'd be very happy to speak to you. Yeah, tell, tell me one, one thing. We, we have uh, users, uh, typical ones, users in the internet, and users already familiar with the group. How are you going to handle the education of the users whose freaking idea was this group buying thing is and so on? Yeah, I mean, I mean, actually, the education of the market about the group buying is being done by all the other group buying sites. So, so we're, not, we're not putting a lot of effort into educating people too much about what group buying is. Uh, and what we do is basically, you know, we, we, we're still in a sort of a, a stealth mode and we've got 14,000 users already. Uh, most of it is through referrals because basically people try lots of group buying sites and they try us thinking we're just a group buying site. Yeah. But the magic of our site happens after the initial purchase. Yeah. Um, and so once someone's bought it the first time, you know, you, you see that you get four points, but you don't know what the points are. Yeah. And then straight away afterwards, it tells you if you buy this again from the merchant, yeah. Uh, in the next 12 months, you get eight points. And basically the points, as you accumulate them, they unlock different levels of membership. I'm very happy because you know, it's, it's very kind of, uh, I'm t t telling I them about reloyalty. Oh yeah. Because his idea is generally the same. I mean, probably they've been gener generated in parallel oh, or something. Okay. So they have this kind of Love the group, yeah. Yeah. group, this kind you. of group like buying for, for, the for the restaurants and the yes. areas, etc. And there's a kind of yeah, loyalty program yeah. that uh -huh. they have similarly to meet the mm -hmm. and the loyalty. We mix, yeah. we mix basically, group. we use group buying to bring the people to, to, to the merchant. Then we use basically a combination of a city guide like uh, TripAdvisor mm -hmm. uh, to, to give them 12 months of exposure on our site and everybody's ranked according to feedback mm -hmm. and then we use a loyalty an increasing stackable rewards program to get you to come back to the places that Do you, you use like. a plastic card or it's uh, just it's currently it's all online but I mean the membership levels unlock different and, okay. and when you hit a certain level then you get a physical card from us okay. uh, and it's sort of like you know your air miles program so you get uh -huh. at your top levels you, you start getting you know we have you get trips for free with the uh, Kapinski hotels you know uh -huh. I mean, so each level unlocks so you have already different. some arrangements with the hotels and so on uh, yeah I mean obviously in each destination it's different uh, yeah. and so uh, our top levels we're still negotiating what they are uh, but the initial levels I mean uh, for example we also try to create a much more social environment for our top members so the people which are very active on our site you unlock you know one level that you unlock mm -hmm. is basically invitations to our uh, to our private or what we call closed mm -hmm. circulation deals yeah uh, so you only get these special deals if you hit this certain level and what, why that's great is because all of a sudden you can have a five star brand and they say but I don't want the general public to see you know me giving yeah, a 50 yeah, yeah. cheap yeah. Kind of. so we can work with a five star brand because we can basically do a circulation only to our top 100 buyers and you know it's not on the public anywhere and I don't think anybody else doing it uh, 
there's, there's a few other hybrid sites. We're not the first. There's about eight hybrid sites that we've come across. But everybody is slightly different. Uh, we think our one is, is a unique combination of all of them. Uh, and the last element we're introducing now, uh, uh, the next level above that, uh, we basically have uh, what we call secret supper club events. <laughs> and once a month, we pick one of our merchants, let's say a five-star hotel. No orgies there. Sorry? <laughs> no orgies. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, not, not at this stage. That's the VIP no. level. <laughs> this is the very, very top level. <laughs> uh, but you take, let's say, a five-star restaurant, and we say we will bring you, uh, you know, we do maximum of 20 people to this event, mm -hmm. and it's only open to our top 50 buyers, uh, and it's basically on a first-come, first-served basis. Uh, what that does on from you as a user, meaning you, our top buyers, we've created a, a social environment for them. You can actually go and have a dinner, you know, and you meet other people who are also, you know, yeah, this the most active in our in our website and things like that. But what is the incentive for the brand? Well, for the brand, well, they they get basically our top clientele. Uh, to reach to reach that level, they've spent with us a minimum of a thousand euros. Oh, yeah. So you you have very targeted marketing as as a brand, um, and this is the sort of thing which which gets very uh, you know what they're always interested in is sort of network marketing. So people to talk about it, and so for example. We don't do 14, a dinner for 14 in their restaurant, we do it in their penthouse suite. And the chef creates a dinner, and it's stuff which the people talk about. And you know if these people, you know, if they're, if they're our top buyers, that means that they're very uh, uh, used to sort of social uh, marketing and things like that, because a lot of our referrals come through Facebook and blah, blah, blah. Our average age of the user is 36, as opposed to Groupon and stuff, which is sort of early 20s. And, um, they have higher income. Uh, uh, we never include, for example, we never include wine in our deals, alcohol in our deals. We only do the dinners, and we have a very high spend on wine afterwards.